Hello everybody and welcome back to Doom Eternal. There it is. I was waiting for it to come in. Uh, <laughs> I've been sitting here and I was like, man, uh, where's my where's my Doomacorn stuff from Twitch? Um, so if you guys have Twitch Prime, just know that you can get the Doomacorn Slayer Collection, which gives you the Magic Meadow uh, stand, uh, like um, podium. You get the Doomacorn. You get this whole thing. So we're gonna go ahead and, and customize. I'll show you everything that we get. So for the Slayer, we get the Doomacorn, of course, which we're actually gonna switch up to. We also get the Magic Meadow, which we're also gonna switch up to. You can switch to Magic Meadow for, for all the demons if you really want to. So with your player badge, you also... I thought you got... I thought you got... A, Jesus. It's giving me some of this stuff. But not all of it, apparently. So, I mean, as you can see, it, it, it's supposed to give you a, 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 a badge as well as, like, two skin variants. Um, you know... And, uh, like a background type thing. So, it's, you know, it's, it's whatever. Uh, anyway, we're back with... Uh, a new part. We're in the Fortress of Doom again. Um, the last time we played, we found out more about the Sentinels. And the past. Basically, kind of like the world lore. Um, we know that... In the olden times, this gigantic, basically, like, spike, like, came flying through this planet, which set all this evil loose. The wraiths and everything set all this evil loose. You can now find the uh, remaining hell priests by activating your celestial locator. We're, we're still going after the hell priests, of course. The second Hell Priest is located in the northern region of Earth. I will calibrate the portal now. The hub has several areas locked off due to power constraints. Once power has been restored, you will be able to access the entire ship. Ooh, there's like a whole mission select and everything. So yeah, the mission select this allows us to go back and get anything that we've missed. So yeah, basically, I still don't have access to those. Um, so basically, we found out about the Sentinels and about the Kings and everybody, and how they made a deal with the uh, Heavens to essentially become, um, ooh, to uh, to have somewhere to go when they died. So this was that record that we got. Oh, it's the, uh, the original E1M1, uh, track. It's really cool. So yeah, this was the original track from the original Doom. Oh, and it continues to play, too. Oh, that's nice. Well, we'll just go ahead and listen to that. What these are. You go in here yet? Ooh, okay. So no batteries and the sockets of the fortress do to unlock items and power up parts of the fortress. The batteries can be found missions are earned by completing all three of the mission challenges. Okay, well, let's plug her in. Sentinel energy levels 
rising. Re-establishing power to core and supplementary systems. Acquiring the ice bomb, huh? Alright, so we've unlocked these side passages, as this back passage as well. So this is ginormous, actually. This is really big. There's the original Doom suit right there. Boy, I wonder how we get that. Go back real quick and turn this music off. poster right there. So this leads down. Oh. Looks like this leads down as well. This leads up and around to this side. This goes up. That's uh, our new upgrade. We'll get that in a minute. Sure there's no little secrets hidden around right there. So yeah, this is the this is the unmaker weapon. Um, need all the keys for. That's pretty cool. What, is, what the hell is this down here? out somewhere. Oh! There's another suit in there. It's like a knight suit, kind of. It's like an, uh, an armor. That's pretty cool. Like, two batteries for that. Out in space. That's pretty, that's, that's pretty tight. So there's different outfits that you'll be able to unlock. Basically, I've seen the posters and everything here too. Posters um, the records you'll be able to unlock um, as you go through the game. Music? Oh, it's the it's the it's the poster. This leads to another suit. Just kind of like in a, it's like dark. Can't really see much of much of it. Maybe it's like the original Praetor suit from from the last Doom game. Could be. I know that that's in this game as well. So around here we have more. The Fortress of Doom. <clears throat> I'm art for you there. The Fortress of Doom is a command station used by the Sentinels for military operations. ESR dating suggests the structure was built during the reign of King Danik, and spectral analysis of the Sentinel structure signature used to power the various systems confirms this theory. While the rock and metal structures of the vessel is undoubtedly Ar uh, Argenta design, the castle subsystems, navigation, gravitational centrifuge, life support, are maker origin, suggesting a design collaboration between the two species. Propulsion is notably absent, as it is not required. The fortress manipulates space through an unknown process involving Sentinel energy. 
However, there is no indication that any of the systems were designed for maker use. The access ways, control panels, and living quarters have all been designed for Argenta dimensions, so it can be assumed that the massive structure was made exclusively for Argenta warfare, like it as a flag station of the Night Sentinel's military for forces. We have records of the Night Sentinels visiting many inhabited planets in their local quadrant. The extent of their empire is still being researched. And this fortress is likely a remnant of what was once a much larger fleet. Yeah, so it's like a base. Oh, cool, look! We have, oh, look, we have some... We have a comic here? The gauntlet. Oh, we have all our, we have all our weapons? We can actually view all of the, uh... Swap the mods. We can actually view all the weapons. It's pretty cool. Oh, look at this! This is where all the toys go. Okay. Collector. Oh, wow. Look. Oh, oh shit. Look at this, that's even better. They have, uh, there's copies of Doom 2 and Doom, The Art of Doom, Quake 2, Arena, Quake. And then all the, all the toys. So you have the Slayer. Wow, so you can actually view all the toys as well here with the Imp. That's all we've, this is all we've gotten so far. There's like a whole lot of them that just go along that shelf. That's really cool. Oh, and there's, uh, oh, there's, there's, uh, Captain, what's his face? From the previous game, he found his, uh, he found his body and his, his zapper. A lot of reference there. There's some guitars. There's a Doom guitar, like, a like, one based on that energy. That's pretty cool. A flesh guitar. Skateboard. So I know that there's a Doom and Doom 2 here. They require these, like, passwords, but I don't remember what the passwords are. Um, there's Mick Gordon's Doom soundtrack. That's pretty tight. There's the, there's the Doom Eternal and Doom cassette that you actually get with the Collector Edition. Um, right there. That's pretty cool. I just want to see all the references now. There's like a rabbit at some point here. It's a mech toy. Oh, there's the oh, there's the uh, the soul cube from Doom Three. Recognize the soul cube from Doom Three. UAC logo. Takayaki flavored lanes. Always were everywhere. Doomology today. Fruit shoes. Some nunchucks. Yeah, there's like so many references to, um, you know, past games and stuff. It's really, really cool. It's like an armor builder, man. It's like so the armor gets built right here. Old Science Monthly. It's no, oh, there's the arc react. There's arc reactors where you got the energy arc the Ar Argent energy um, from the previous game. That's really cool. This room is really oh look at that, and he's even got a bunny. Oh, there's his bunny. That it was in the little cage here. Wow, that's really cool. So there's so many references to to like past games, everything that they put in this. It's really, really cool. It's like they're they've they've not they've not let everything be forgotten. I I love how well thought out that is. Where every you know, there's things from Doom Three in there, and that's really cool. I really like that. So I'm guessing this is like an elevator or teleporter of some kind, maybe take us up so we don't have to walk up down the stairs every time. Ooh, what is this? Hello. There's a coin in here. It's like a, it's like a token being held by a ghost of a sentinel. Oh, of course that bridge formed. Actually, I didn't need to do that. 
And another one as well. So there's two of them down here. There's two coins. We also have... It's like a big titan. haven't so the elevator yeah so that's an elevator that actually leads down further over here what do we have here oh no this is the unmaker Oh, so what's this back here? Is that the VFG? This is the end maker? So then what's that? Is that the VFG? It doesn't look like the other VFG. So we have... So we have some coins, again. But also weapon mods? That we need the Arja Energy, or that we need the, the Sentinel batteries for? So I guess it allows you to, like, say, hey, pick and choose what you want to get um, over time. Eventually, I'm assuming you're just going to unlock everything. So if you use one key to unlock part of that. Ooh. There's some... So there's, like, empty batteries here. Yeah, see, so we also have this upgrade, and this upgrade as well. So that's actually, it's pretty cool to know that you can kind of choose what you want to go with for, you know, it allows you to pick and choose what you want to go with. Um, I wonder what's down there at the bottom. We can't really go over there yet, so... Wow, there is a lot of stuff to get. Um, so let's go ahead and head back up. And we'll grab this. <coughs> so this is the ice bomb. Freeze enemies, come with other weapons. Congratulations. The ice bomb modification to your equipment launcher has been completed. Once fired, the bomb so will between grenade and ice. In freezing gases. You'll have to manually toggle the launcher to fire either ice bombs or frag grenades. Take the lift. Oh, so we were actually just there. We should have. Uh, we should have probably just. There we go. Demon prison, huh? That's where we're going down to. I'll say, I was wondering what was down here. Punish demons in the prison? What the fuck? Ripatorium? Oh, man. Is this like a combat arena that I can just like do over and over again? If I just want to kill demons? Oh no, it's locked. Oh no, that's not. Oh, I go down even further. Demon Prison allows you to practice fighting demons without dying or permanently losing inventory such as ammo or extra lives. New encounters unlock as you progress through the campaign and discover new demons. Exit through the portal when finished. Oh, okay.
There we go. I've, I've punished demons in the prison. Wow, so that's that's actually pretty cool. Um, it allows you to just come down here and get some practice fighting, I guess. Just in case you want to. Yeah, there's like no, there's like nothing down here, but just this arena. Huh. Doing that, oh, so is doing that get me like a point? Wait, okay, this is a Predator Suit point. Predator Suit perks, enhance earned abilities, or unlock new abilities. This is the suit time to say I have to upgrade abilities and unlock new abilities. Oh, oh shit. So there's environment. Rad suit takes less damage from toxic sludge and toxic water. So you need like two for some of these. Immune to damage from barrel explosions. Barrels that have re exploded have will respawn once after a short duration. Barrels that leave behind some ammo when destroyed. Pinatas. Nice. F uh, frag grenade. Takes less time to cool down after firing. The grenade emits a second larger non damaging explosion to f that falters demons. Each demon killed by the grenade explosion spawns scatter bombs. That's fucking cool. Uh, fire twice before re requiring a recharge. Oh, nice. Ice bomb. Take less time to cool down. Demons remain frozen longer. Damaging killing frozen enemies will drop health. Damage dealt against frozen demon is increased. Nice. Fundamentals. Faster ledge grab and monkey bars. Faster weapon switch and mod swap. Dash refills more quickly. Nice. Dash refill on glory kill. Oh, that's cool. And then exploration. Um, reveals the auto map station location on the auto map. Oh, yeah. Reveals all progression items on the dossier. Larger auto map reveal radius. Reveals the position of the... Pro oh, reveals the progression items. Okay. Yeah, you know what? We're going to want to do this. Um, I want to reveal the auto map station. This is definitely what we're going to invest in very, very quickly. Yeah, so Sentinel Crystals. Alright. Cool, so yeah, we're definitely gonna wanna get those those tokens because we're gonna wanna get the, like the collectible shit. That is definitely going to be the main objective of of those upgrades thus far. Everything else after that is just a bonus. This oh, is an, an arc broadcast to any to any ARC personnel or survivors operating inside the Hellified zones, please be advised more Doomslayer sightings have been coming in. Uh, ARC leadership, do not recommend any attempts to communicate with the Slayer directly. Please avoid all contact with Doom Guy at this time. While it's clear the Slayer is an enemy of the challenge, it is unclear if he could also be a threat Personnel to the Personnel or survivors operating inside the Hellified Zones, please be advised. More Doom Slayer sightings have been coming in. All right, so, <clears throat> so we're headed to the cultist base. Uh, with the Celestial Locator now in your possession, you were able to pinpoint the location of the remaining Hell Priest, D. Rannick, leader of the UAC division responsible for Earth's invasion, has been located at the remote cultist Arctic base. Infiltrate the encampment and neutralize Rannick. You got it. So we do have mission challenges now. Doing all three will give us a sentinel battery. Require one sentinel crystal to ignite four demons with a single blast of the flame belt and destroy an arachnotron turret. Alright, good thing to remember. 
Cultus Base. Led by the elusive Hell Priest D. Rannick, the cultists operate from a remote facility located in the Arctic Tundra. As overseer, Rannick exerts absolute control over the facility and its legion of possessed acolytes. Instrumental in sowing the seeds of the cultist uprising, Rannick worked briefly with Olivia Pierce at the Mars facility before departing to Earth with orders to prepare the groundwork for the imminent Hell invasion. A recently declassified UAC biography for Rannick indicates that he is a surviving member of the original Order of the D, an ancient Argenta uh, cleric. He now serves the forces of Hell and is rumored to have personal knowledge of the Doomslayer, suggesting a shared history between the two. Wielding total power over the cultists under his supervision, he uses his growing influence to advance the consumption and corruption of Earth. Built over the ruins of an ancient Argenta settlement, the cultist facility has been designed as both a gothic monument to the ancient architecture and state-of-the-art science facility. Tablets and memory banks found at the settlement indicate that the Order of the Dee discovered Earth millennia ago and found it to be populated with powerful primeval beasts. They named these creatures uh, Agadons due to their similarity to the mythic Cyclopean giant from Argent Daenerys past, the Agadean. There's some art for you. Alright. No one is a Praetor Suit Point, all Miss Chazes of Sentinel Battery. It's really the batteries that we want. Can I climb this? Okay, no. I'm going. what I can grab on to. I could have jumped to there. Yeah, well. is somewhere in this facility. Uh, I cannot pinpoint his exact location at this time. How do we get that guy? He's got like an extra life or something.
one is we want to unlock this thing here so that it will Ah, there we go. So you just gotta look, really. Alright, we got a battery. Speaking of which, is that... Yeah, that's part of the secrets, okay. Alright, well, let's continue forward. Don't. I was say, do we have anything on these creatures that we've been killing? Oh god. Oh jeez. We have this here. There's one of those. Cultist key. You go there. Just so much stuff, man. Welcome, Slayer. Is my time making end? Let's see if you're strong enough to survive this cursed season. point is the guns. So the Mancubus. The Mancubus. The hulking behemoth of the demon world bears notable difference from those of its kind first encountered by the UAC expedition team on Mars. Unlike its brethren, which wore a natural occurring armored carapace, this variation close shows clear sign of pre-existing man-made modifications. Armor plating augmentation to its ex exterior and a sophisticated arm-mounted weapon system indicate a clear intent to upgrade and weaponize the fighting capacity of the Mancubus, whose heavy stature and resilience make it a formidable threat in battle.
gonna hold on to this. Still, I wonder. Actually, I can't go back out here yet. I think it's the cultist key, which is right up there, which is that thing over there. So now... use this bar so that we can there we go
gotten everything here thus far. Plasma rifles can destroy energy shields from a damaging explosion. Although, I now see there's some other stuff. Oh, we have the rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. Forged from the metal smelting pits of the Golgothan Enclave, the Pain Giver is a weapon of pure malice devised for a singular, singular purpose, to next suffering upon the weak. A tool of insidious intent, it was not by mortal design that the Pain Giver was conceived. The cultist engineers of Golgotha, as acolytes of the unholy and all-powerful will of the Hell Priest Rannick, were bestowed as vision, scribes to Rannick's dark premonition. With great clarity did the Pain Giver reveal itself to the shared consciousness of the Golgothian acolytes. And with fervor and religious zealotry did they set themselves towards its manifestation, toiling without rest until the pain giver was created. Very nice.
see here. Let's do the... Let's do that. That could be useful. Snake Beast, Whiplash. Oh boy. A scavenger of the hellscape, the Whiplash creature was first discovered by USC expedition teams in the black desert of the Sanctum Wastelands. These elusive serpentine demons move with great speed and agility. They are capable of striking from a great distance with retractable bladed whips concealed within their forearms. This particular demon breed became an object of great interest to the UAC engineers on Earth, while attempts to capture live specimens of this nimble and unpredictable creature proved to be exceptionally dangerous. After successfully acquiring living specimens, researchers implanted cybernetic augmentations designed to enhance the whiplash's innate strength and lethality. Of course, right? Maybe that's maybe we should have gotten that whole slowdown thing. Cause that slowdown thing seems to be really what I need now. life. There's like a big demon skeleton down there. How do you get this? This extra life is just like down here. 
Like underneath everything. There's no like. Like jump out there. What the hell, man? It's so weird. How the hell do you get this? Alright, so once again, we have the micro missiles, we have the heat blast. The rocket launcher, the, the lock on burst is definitely what we want. So then we can lock on the targets. What's that? Do I have three of these? I have three of them now? Oh, well then I definitely want that. So, bigger boom, increased explosion size. No, I think we'll just do that. We will get both of these. We really want to, uh, so then we have the Master Challenges, Arachnatron turns using Sticky Bomb. Oh, that's easy. So, yeah, we. I think that we really, really want to do is we want to try to get the, uh, the upgrades for the for the mods we're using currently. Is that a vacuum robot?
way to unlock this. be somewhere you can like I hate that everything is like just so confusing, like Yeah, it makes you wanna like have to go back and you know you have to use like a a collectibles guide to get everything and I think that's kinda shitty. Cause I don't wanna have to do that. I just wanna be able to kinda go through and get everything. But I can always come back to tweet missions. To be my brothers and sisters, but he is weak. Your hate must match his will. Only then will you be truly saved. Where are the where are the challenges in here? I want to see the challenges. There they are. Acquire one sentinel crystal.
I can't go back now. So, that collectible's lost to the wind currently. battery simulate a you know, one up there but I get it well that's a climbing surface right there That right there is a climbing surface. Like the more I look, the less I see. There's like a there's like an a, a, a clove that's like right there, but. In his destruction, the myth of the Slayer's strength is exposed now to us. Can you see it, brothers? He has lost the resolve to continue. Eat his soul. I must survive this. Protect me in my time of need, and you will secure your place in the new world. for the grenade to recharge so I can fire it in the group of these guys right here. There we go. So we have multiple ways to go, basically. I have a feeling that this level is going to take a lot longer than one part. You know, I was thinking that we were going to be able to do these levels in one part, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Your super shotgun is nearby. A relic from your past. The priests have kept it hidden from you in this remote location. Oh, yeah, here we go. I'm supposed to drop to the floor below. Cue ball. Attention. Oh. So the 
former UAC engineers, these malformed zombies were rendered inept during the war for Earth. Their bodies are now disturbing fusion of bone, body, and barrel. The Slayer is inside the facility. Please proceed with aggression. So then how do I get this out? Oh my god. Everything's just gotta be like so overly complicated when it comes to shit. Finally. So once again, I need uh, I need ammo because ammo. Oh, you know what? Let's do armor for blood. I need I need ammo because I just never have enough ammo. All right, now we got a freighter suit token. Which I have one of. And this is a larger automatic reveal radius. I think we'll reveal all for real time the dossier. Do that.
that encounter's done. Okay, we got that, we got that. Still like this whole like downstairs kind of like egg area. This like I have to say that the 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 platforming stuff is really annoying. Like you know, like some platforming stuff is fun, but when you build an entire game around it, I have to say it gets old. I'm guessing we're supposed to be going in here. The shitty thing is, is that you don't really get a lot of ammo. Um, really anything. Then there's this in here, and I don't know how to get this. Like, how are we supposed to get... Do 
I stand in here and wait? Yes, okay. That one's less confusing. Here we go, send the battery. Got all that stuff. There's like a revenant here. Fucking revenant. Jetpack fly up, press B, activate your after afterburner if you run out of fuel. Paratron rockets, rocket barrage. This is very strange. Bye. 
Bye. All right. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Super shotgun. A weapon from the Slayer's past. This double-barreled shotgun displays ornate, undeciphered filigree carvings. It also includes a modification, a twin-pronged hook anchored with a retractable chain designed for under-barrel usage. Though the firearm appears to be of earthly design, the meat hook attachment is comprised of non-terra metals, suggesting some le level of prior history off-world. Its place in the Slayer's arsenal in Hell has already been recorded, as noted in the following translation from the uh, Ungmar Codex. The sting of the Slayer's abominable arsenal casts fear into the lowest of our kin. Its blazing barrels of brimstone spew its vitriol and loathing upon us, and cast our brethren into the dirt. Mark the venom of his chosen apparatus of agony, the diabolical musket, Lucifer's bane, its claw of pig iron gouging the flesh of the martyr and hurrying him upon us. Curse the name of this beloved treasure. Curse the Hellwalker's device of torment. We shall cast it into the smelter and gild his entrails with a slurry. Okay, so there's like a secret that's like above here. Code, Sentinel Armor, IDDQD. Okay. Attention, all cultist base personnel. Please destroy the Slayer. The priest must survive. I repeat, the priest must survive. Blaster Soldier Toy, nice.
take that. Alright, so with the suit, we have two, so let's go ahead and get the... The auto map reveal radius. Alright, so we get all the exploration done. Mostly because I really want to get those done first, because that has to do with kind of everything that we have. Uh, to like, unlock, like, the collectibles in terms. Reload time reduced. Let's get that. Six. This is three. Let's go ahead and do that one. Fast reset. Recharge. rocket launcher okay so we got that done
that there. We got another record. Doom 2 into Sand City. standing on the platform, obviously. Oh, this is where we were. This was the, uh... Right? Yeah. Oh no, it's a different place. It just kind of looks like the same area that we were in. I need this as well.
another key door here. through there. Hmm. Where's the key up there? that off. have to kind of go down that's amazing That's how we get it.
Prowler. That's a new one. Creature of Darkness, the Prowler hunts from the shadows, preferring stealth and concealment to open conflict. Imbued with uh, parietal infra infravision, the Prowler is able to see that which is unseen to the naked eye. Known among the Sentinels as the Night Stalker, the Prowler is pre... Uh, pretur Preternatural sense of sight makes it a lethal hunter, capable of tracking its prey even in the pitchest black of dark. Believed to be peripherally descendant to the lesser in brooding, the prowler is rarely seen in groups, forsaking pack hunting for the precision of the solitary pursuit. So now we're going to go to the Terror Dome here. We've pretty much gotten all but like a couple of suit things. One of which is over there. The other, there's a secret over here still, which is more likely a suit thing. And then there's just that. So we're pretty much almost done with the level. And then once we're done with the level, we'll, uh, we'll call it there. Like I said, I kind of want to do one stream per level. Some of these might be two hours. It really depends on how quickly we do it. But I'll definitely come back off stream and I will get the uh, the collectibles I didn't get off stream. Alright, so we have another Praetor Suit token and I'm sure that we can... We have a one. We might as well get like... We might as well do that. We might as well get the ones because, you know... Once you get the ones, you don't have to worry about not having them. We've got all that done as well. Okay, um, let's see here. So we're currently working on that. This is five. These three enemies in a single micro must volley 15 times. That's not too easy, but it's also not too difficult either. I mean, of course, there's some extra lives that I didn't get and everything, but...
has stopped moving. I will lock in signal. We've gotten all but one, uh, we got all but one secret basically, uh, which I'll come back and I'll get off stream. We did do all of the combat stuff. We did get all three challenges done. Two exploration, like I said, we got everything but that, that one trader suit. A few things. All right. So yeah, that that will be uh, that will be it. Uh, next time we will come back and we will continue where we left off. Um, probably between now and then, I'll probably go and I'll um, well, maybe we'll do the Doom Hunter base next time and then by the b before we go to the next um, mission. Um, we come back to the to the actual base between the next mission and um, everything. I'll I'll go and I'll get the other collectibles that I missed. So thank you for all for watching. I know this is a bit of a longer part, but like I said, we want to do one mission per per video. So take care, and I will see you on the next part. Goodbye.